Hi friends, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Mahmoud Usman. Now let's talk about causes of drug addiction in Pakistan, how to deal with them. Drug addiction is an alarmingly increasing issue in Pakistan, with both local and imported drugs contributing to this problem. A range of social, cultural and economic factors are responsible for the prevalence of drug addiction in the country. It is essential to take measures to address the causes in order to prevent drug addiction from becoming an even bigger problem in the country. Drug addiction is a complicated neurobiological disorder that affects a person's brain and behavior, resulting in a person's inability to resist the urge to use drugs. The most common causes of drug addiction in Pakistan are family issues, mental illness, peer pressure, toxic relationships, etc. To prevent or minimize drug addiction, it is necessary to eradicate the cause and then focus on the mental education of those affected and guide them to seek help if drug usage gets out of control and causes problem. The effects of drugs on your body and mind might change your feelings, thoughts and behaviors. People use drugs in many different ways and for many various reasons. When something is used frequently to the point where you crave it and become dependent on it, you are said to be addicted. If you are addicted, you might use the drug even when it is harmful. Drug addiction is simply a trap. Once you get into it, it's too difficult to come out of it. Scientifically speaking, drug addiction is a complex neurobiological disorder which affects a person's brain and behavior in a way that they lose the ability to resist the urge to use drugs. So these are the nine significant causes of drug addiction in Pakistan. The common causes of drug addiction in Pakistan are the availability of drugs at cheap prices. According to some experts, cheap and easy drug access is the leading cause of its increasing rate in Pakistan. Drugs are available in high amount in our country. Family issues. In Pakistan, family issues are a significant source of stress for many kids and they start taking drugs. Their mental health suffers from parental disputes, poverty, conflicts with siblings, etc. Teens who are unhappy in their homes may use drugs to escape from reality. They enjoy temporary pleasure because it sends them to the stars. However, as they land back on earth, reality strikes and they earn to return to where the drug had taken them. Their dependence begins here. Support from authority. The leading causes of Pakistan's alarming rise in drug use is that those in positions of authority, wealth and control give them constant support. Pakistan is now both an importer and an exporter of drugs. Pakistan's illegal drug trade is believed to generate 2 billion a year. Pakistan is the most heroin addicted country per capita in the world. Peer pressure. The issue of peer pressure is real. Teens try to fit in with society by bowing down to others. Peer pressure to use drugs can contribute to drug use and perhaps result in addiction. Peer social standards may also put pressure on individuals. For instance, even in the absence of specific peer pressure, a person may feel pressure to drink if they observe that their friends spend a lot of time consuming such drinks. Mental illness. People with moderate, severe or even subclinical mental problems use narcotics as a sort of self-medication. According to studies, individuals who suffer from different mental illnesses, including anxiety, depression or post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD), may turn to drugs or alcohol as a kind of self-medication. Socio-cultural aspects. You are more likely to develop a drug addiction if one or two drug users are in your social network because any organization's shared values and beliefs always direct its members' behaviors and activities. Social cultural influences significantly impact the development of addiction. If alcohol or drug use in the culture is ordinary, members of a culture become more prone to addiction. Keep your guard up, decline any offers of drugs and confidently leave whenever they approach you. Toxic relationships. Most people associate toxic relations with romantic connections, although they can also exist in friendships, workplace partnerships and family interactions. Drug addiction can result from toxic relationships. Because of an unhealthy relationship with someone, you might use drugs or alcohol to hide or deal with painful emotions. Study pressure. The study pressure causes a lot of stress. They keep looking for quick cuts, but they never succeed. They become depressed after failing an exam. Therefore, they might use a drug to make them feel better. You are more likely to use a particular drug if you notice that it improves your mood and performance. Genetics. Your genetic makeup 
could make you more prone to addiction. A particular substance affects your body and mind in the same way that it influenced your forefathers. You have a significantly higher likelihood of developing a drug addiction if your parents or their parents used drugs in the past. So in conclusion, of course, none of these risk factors guarantees that a person will develop a substance abuse disorder. There are, there are different reasons for drug addiction in Pakistan. To stop or minimize it, we have to eradicate its causes, then focus on the mental education of the affected ones and guide them and guide them to get assistance if the drug usage is out of normal or causing issues. The chances of full recovery are higher the sooner people seek support. Addiction psychiatrists are trained professionals that consult with parents to identify the causes of their drug or alcohol addiction. They prescribe medications to manage withdrawal symptoms and treat underlying or co-occurring mental health issues if necessary. Engaging in prevention programs and creating awareness among the masses can help prevent drug addiction in youth. In some cases, recreational drug use can cause long-term mental health problems, for example, taking it can cause depression or schizophrenia or it may trigger feelings similar to those also already experienced as part of a mental health program. Illegal drugs such as marijuana and cocaine can seriously affect fertility and make ovulation more difficult. I hope we stay safe from any sort of drug addiction. I hope you liked the video. Please like and share our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.